Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to install the Virtuoso SG800 as a network printer on your Macintosh. You're going to need two files to do this. We'll need the ICC profile as well as the driver file. The ICC profile we will email to you, so if you do not have this email, just send us an email to support at condi.com requesting the profile. Uh, once you have this profile, you're going to right click on it and select copy and then we're going to click on the desktop, click on go and go to folder. You're going to type in a single forward slash which is the same key as a question mark and hit go. This takes us to our hard drive. From here I'm going to go into library, color sync and profiles and you would just paste the file into this folder. I already have it here so I'm not actually going to paste it but all you have to do is click on edit and paste item. Now sometimes you'll see another folder in here, a shortcut to profiles inside the profiles folder. If you see that, go into that folder and paste the item in here as well. Uh, when you paste it, it's probably going to ask you for your Mac password. Just type that in and you'll see it paste in. Once you have the ICC profiles in place, we're ready to install the driver. You just want to run the driver file, run the package, Agree. Install. And again, it's going to ask me for my password. We'll hit install software and hit close. Now, one thing I did forget to show you because it's not on our website yet, you can download the drivers from our website once we actually start actually selling the computer. You'll have to log into PartnerNet to download the driver, but it will be listed under printer support as a Sawgrass printers. You'll come over to the SG800 and then on to printer drivers Mac. Right, once you have the driver in installed, we're ready to configure. So we want to open Photoshop, you want to open a document of some sort, and I'm going to go straight to the print dialog, file and print. I got ahead of myself again, we need to install the network driver, the network printer. So let's minimize this. I'm going to go to System Preferences, Printers and Scanners. Now I already have it installed here, so I'm going to remove it so you can understand how it works. I'm going to click on the plus. I'm going to come over to IP, and I'm going to type in the IP address that I have programmed on the printer. The IP address that we've programmed on this one is 192.168.1.215. It's not currently on the network. We've taken it off for other reasons. So I want to make sure I have the right driver file here. It should auto-sense it, but in the event that it does not, click on Select Software and come down and find the Sawgrass SG800 and hit OK. And then we're going to hit Add. And again, since it can't see it on the network, I'm going to skip this. It's just trying to talk to the printer. Once we're here, you're going to see the IP address here. We'll click on Options and Supplies, and we can actually rename it to what we want to call it. Sawgrass SG800. I can also come over to the Options file. If you have the Bypass tray, go ahead and check that. Or if you have an additional tray, go ahead and check this tray. And hit OK. Once we've done that, we'll see it listed with the name that we gave it. We're going to close this out, and then we're ready to go to our graphics software. From here, I'm going to do File and Print. I'm going to set the printer to the SG800. And then we want to make sure the color settings are correct. Now, on Photoshop, your color settings are going to be on the right-hand side. In Illustrator, you're going to see an option on the left-hand side for color management. You click on that, and you'll see these color settings. And Photoshop Elements, we're going to click on More Options, and we're going to click Color Management. Now once you find the Color Management settings, it's going to be the same for all softwares. We're going to set Color Handling to let this program manage colors. We're going to set the Printer Profile to the SG800. We'll come down 
SG800 Dietrans high quality and you want your rendering intent to be perceptual. Once you have that set, hit OK. Alright, now when we're ready to configure the driver. Uh, again, in Adobe Photoshop, you're going to see print settings over next to the select printer dialog. And Illustrator, in the bottom, you'll see a button that says either printer or setup, depending on your version of Illustrator. And in Photoshop Elements, I'm going to hit print and let it take me to a second print screen. Once this screen is up, we want to go ahead and check the flip horizontal. This is going to mirror your output. Next thing we want to do is set, click on the layout pull down and select setup. We're going to change the paper type to inkjet plain paper, high quality. And then I'm going to click on the arrow next to image adjustments and set dithering to use error diffusion. Now once you have these set, we're ready to save our preset. So I'm going to click on the presets pull down, save current settings as preset, and I'm going to name this Condi ICC. Once you have that, you just want to make sure this Condi ICC is selected as the preset whenever you go to print. Now if I hit print here, it'll actually send a print job to the printer, so I'm just going to cancel this out. And from here, you're configured and ready to go. You just want to verify your print settings when you print and make sure you have Condi ICC selected on the driver. If you have any questions about this or anything else we have here at Condi, please give us a call to 1-800-826-6332, option 2 for technical support, or send us an email to support at Thank you.